of you will be happy to know that I have discovered the reason my 300 SDL transmission was not upshifting. But I bet you're not as happy as I am. Uh, I, I really appreciated some of the comments I received on my first video. One person got the answer right, but another person gave a bit of wisdom which I actually used when I was diagnosing the problem, and that was he suggested I seek the wisdom of the lemon head. Now, for those of you who've ordered parts from us, you'll get the humor there. But before I tell you what the problem was, I want to share with you some valuable lessons that we can all learn when troubleshooting these type of problems on your Mercedes-Benz. Number one, don't panic. You can imagine I was laying awake nights thinking, I'm going to have to change this transmission. It's going to cost me $1,500, $2,000. So before you panic, think that maybe it's not as bad as it could be. Number two, don't assume. A number of you said, well, since you changed your fluid and filter and modulator, it's got to be something related to that. And that's not necessarily the case when you're working on these old cars. Things can happen at any time for any reason, and they may not be associated with some of the work that you did previously. So never assume that the problem is just going to be associated with the previous or current repair work you're doing. Number three, do think. Now this is where I actually found the problem. I stopped panicking, I sat down, and I started thinking. Like the guy said, I sought the wisdom of the lemon head. And what I did was I said, okay, look, the transmission's not upshifting, what makes it downshift? And I kept thinking about that, and finally it dawned on me, I think I may know the reason. And number four, do simple. And this is something is very important when you're troubleshooting any problem on the car, not even just transmission problems, but anything. Always check the simple things first. This is real important. And when I started thinking about the problem of why the transmission wasn't upshifting, I suddenly realized that this actually could be something simple. You know, there's a switch under the throttle pedal that controls the kick down or the downshift. And I said, maybe that switch is stuck. And maybe it's on all the time. So the whole time the transmission's trying to upshift, that silly kick down switch is stuck on and keeping the transmission trying to downshift. So guess what? I went in there, pulled the carpet, found a big chunk of junk right between the pedal and that switch, pulled it out, unplugged the switch, took it for a drive, the problem's fixed. Can you believe that? I didn't even have to change the switch. I just lubricated it a little bit with silicone uh, grease and the switch is working fine and I just saved probably hundreds of dollars, maybe even thousands of dollars. I can't imagine how many transmissions have probably been changed over the years because of a simple problem like a stuck kick down switch or a broken vacuum line. So take these lessons to heart. I'm happy. I hope you're happy. Stay tuned for our next troubleshooting video.